This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Netflix. Welcome back to another episode of Rent and Just Rants. It's the show where I rant and rave and talk about anything on my mind from the world of technology and sometimes a little bit outside of it. Up this week, we're gonna talk about the rumor mill and what we help perpetuate, but how there's no more surprises left with device and software announcements. The leaks always churn out weeks advance and we always know exactly what's coming, which can be a little bit disappointing, but also kind of exciting. So let's go ahead and get ranting. So I was thinking about a topic for this week's Rangers Rants, and I was writing some notes for an upcoming BlackBerry 10 announcement, and then HTC sent down an invite for their M7 announcement, and I thought, we already know what's coming. We've already seen the BlackBerry devices. We've already seen leaks to the M7. There's no more surprises. You don't know what things are gonna be. You don't have that one more thing, giant announcement. That has gone away. It used to be Apple was the best at secrecy. You had no idea it was gonna come. There was speculation you didn't know. And then Steve Jobs got up on stage and said one more thing. Everybody was floored. You know, we could speculate that a phone was coming or a new iMac was coming, but really we hadn't seen pictures. We hadn't seen parts leaked out. There was sort of that wonder that was there. We saw it with the first few Android devices as well, the first few Nexus devices, the Nexus One, we really didn't know everything. And it was really exciting as a geek and a fan and a journalist, it was really kind of cool to have that surprise and that almost like wonder about what's coming. But those are the good old days and they are long since gone. Apple's supply chain has gotten super leaky recently. We saw, of course, the iPhone 4 before it was announced. We knew the iPhone 4S. We saw all the parts for the iPhone 5. We've seen the HTC M7. The uh, BlackBerry devices might be the most elite devices ever. We've seen full walkthroughs out of Vietnam. We've seen parts, we've seen renders, we know the colors, we already know the price. There is no more wonder anymore. Now this is a bit tough for me to say because as a journalist, it's great for us to have these leaks. You know, we get a ton of traffic, it's something to talk about, and it's a lot of fun. But as a geek, I still hate it. I love that excitement. It's like seeing the ending of a movie for the first time. It's like seeing six sense and if you haven't seen that movie earmuffs because I'm gonna spoiler alert it for you it's like when they said I see dead people and you found out Bruce Willis was dead it was super exciting they don't have that wonder anymore and I miss it I wish there was a way that we could do that I wish we could turn off the rumor mill for just a little bit even at the detriment of some traffic on techno Buffalo I am a geek first and foremost I'm a nerd first and foremost and I'm kind of a journalist almost secondary but I miss that I wish we could bring it back you know, part of me sometimes wishes that people would just keep quiet and let the wonder still be there. I know having the leaks can sometimes help to figure out what device you want to get. You know, you could see a new iPhone being leaked months in advance and know it's time to wait. You can see renders of the next Nexus device coming a few weeks or months down the road and you know what to do. But the wonder's not there anymore. Even from a software announcement, it's really hard to surprise the audience. You know, RIMS, for example, has been showing beta builds, alpha builds of their software for a while. So there really isn't that much excitement for what's going to happen. I'm hoping Hopeful that we're gonna see something exciting. Hopefully the next version of Android is gonna be exciting. I'm calling it Key Lime Pie. I'm hoping iOS 7. We might not know what it's gonna have before they release the beta. You know, next version of Windows Phone. I just want there to be something new and I want that wonder to come back. Do you guys agree or disagree with me? I wanna hear your thoughts on it. Would you rather have the rumors sort of that come so you know, or would you rather be surprised following along with the live blog or looking at Techno Buffalo for the first time and seeing those pictures and, and being sort of astounded or you know disappointed Pointed, but being able to make those opinions sort of right on the spot uh, was a lot of fun for me and I kind of miss those days. So let me stop talking nostalgic for a few minutes and thank our friends and sponsors at Netflix. Netflix streams TV shows and movies directly to your home, of course, saving you time, money, and most importantly, hassle. As a Netflix member, you can instantly watch TV episodes and movies streaming directly to your PC or Mac or right to your TV with your Xbox 360, PS3, or Nintendo Wii consoles. You can watch as many movies as you want, anytime you want. The best part is you can cancel without having to worry about it. If you ever try Netflix, give it a whirl. Get a free 30-day channel membership go to netflix.com slash buffalo and sign up be sure to use that url to let you know that uh, you know we sent you so thank you guys for watching another episode of rent and just rents it's been on my mind for a while as these keynotes come up and after ces there's not much surprise left and i go on both sides of the fence about it other than i like it or don't like it i love to hear what you guys have to say about it thank you guys for watching another episode of rent and just rants i'm your host john rentinger check us out at technobuffalo.com for the latest and greatest tech news i'll see you guys in the next video